So QAM is the quadrature amplitude uh, modulation. Uh, in this modulation, uh, we, we create signals that are two-dimensional. Uh, when we speak about two dimensions, they have an I uh, dimension and a Q dimension. And the signal um, can be either signal carrier or uh, uh, multiple carriers. Uh, but here we just show uh, one carrier F0 and the signal in time domain is actually composed by the I component amplitude uh, multiplied by cosine in this uh, frequency and the Q uh, multiplied by, by sine. Um, the I and Q values create a constellation map that uh, depends on the uh, level of depth we want to give the QAM modulation. Um, in this example, we see uh, uh, 16 points that actually represent QAM 16. Um, where each point in the constellation map uh, represent a different uh, symbol uh, and in the case of uh, 16 QAM uh, each point can, uh, can represent uh, 4 bits uh, um, uh, of, of data uh, where 2 bits are coming from the, the I value and 2 bits are coming from the Q value of each uh, point. Uh, in a similar manner, we can uh, um, modulate a signal uh, to QAM64, then we'll have 64 points, the uh, matrix will be an 8x8 grid matrix, and uh, the data um, uh, per symbol in QAM64 uh, will be uh, 6 bits per symbol, uh, 3 for the I, um, value and 3 for the Q value uh, and in the same way we can scale it to QAM uh, 256 uh, which would be 16 by 16 and 8 bits of data per, uh, per symbol. So again uh, QAM is uh, either single carrier or uh, um, multi-carrier uh, modulation but in each carrier we have two dimensions that uh, actually create a symbol that represent the data we want to transfer. So uh, the information that is, uh, that is uh, included in the two-dimensional symbol is actually um, um, shown in both the amplitude and the phase uh, at the carrier frequency as each point in the constellation map will have uh, either a different phase or amplitude or both um, and actually in QAM16 uh, we have uh, a sum of four amplitudes A, uh, 3A and the negative minus A and minus 3A and these uh, four amplitudes uh, are um, uh, applicable for uh, the I-axis and also the Q-axis. Um, and as we mentioned before, we can generate one single carrier this way or multiple carriers uh, that, that will be quam-modulated um, as well.